hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel please if you are new you don't forget to hit that subscribe button like comment and share so today i'll be showing you how to make this beautiful organza top and without further ado let's dive right into the video so first of all you make sure your fabric is on fold so yeah this is our fabric on fold and yeah i'll be needing a bias strip for this clothes so this is the bias strip now so now i'm just going to go ahead to start with my measurements so the first thing I went ahead to do is I make sure what I have if it's enough, but it's excess, so I decided to reduce it. Then now I remake sure, and this is more than enough because I have about eight inches, and that's more than enough. <laughs> so now I just went ahead to pin it down, so it's, there's no um, mistake because it's an organza. And if you're not placing it properly, you could make mistake. And I don't I'm sure you don't want that. So the first thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to come down by one inch from this point, which is serve as our starting point because we, we don't want any rough edges. Then I'm just going to go ahead to connect the line like so. So um i went ahead to take the length of our clothes which is 18 inches because it's a crop top plus two inches to aim it that's 20 inches so that's how i got the length of this 20 inches as you can see so the next thing i'm just going to go ahead to do now is i'm going to take my shoulder measurement so a shoulder is 15 divided by 2 that's 7.5 so i'm going to go ahead to max 7.5 then i'm going to go ahead to take our neckline measurement so i'll be using 3.5 inches for the width of our neckline and i'm going to be using 3.5 inches for the length of our neckline so the next thing i'm going to do is on the shoulder line the shoulder measurement i took earlier i'm going to come down by one inch and i'm going to go ahead to use my ruler to connect from down one inch to that 3.5 inches i marked for my neckline i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so basically that's it so now taking my arm hole measurement for your arm hole, it's going to be your bust divided by six plus 1.5 so for my client i divide a bust divided by six plus 1.5 which gave me 7.5 inches so i just went ahead to mark 7.5 inches from down one inch i came down from then i'm just going to go ahead to draw a straight line like so so now to create the arm of i marked a 7.5 inches on the shoulder line earlier so i'm just going to go ahead to extend that line like so you can as well mark 7.5 inches on that arm hole line even though your hand will be straight then connect it so i'm going to determine the midpoint of this line so i have 7.5 inches in total so the midpoint is 3.75 so i'm going to mark 3.75 next thing i'll be doing is i'll be dividing the boss measurement by four so the boss measurement is 30 divided by four that's 7.5 inches plus one inch for sewing that's 8.5 inches so i'm going to go ahead to mark 8.5 inches like so so the next thing is the waist so the waist divided so the waist divided by four is 6.5 6.5 plus one inch for the sewing allowance that's 7.5 so i'm going to go ahead to mark 7.5 on the waistline like so then i'm just going to go ahead to connect the line like so so now that we are done connecting the line I'm going to go ahead to take my arm or curve to give it that arm or shape. So this is our arm o now. So yeah, we have it. Also, I'm just going to go ahead to give um to shape my neckline because it's a round neck. So I'm just going to place my arm o like so, then connect my lines. As you can see. So now that we are done doing this, I'm going to go ahead to mark half an inch all round on my arm hole and also half an inch on my shoulder and also on the neckline. 
I'm just going to go ahead to cut it out now. So now that I'm done cutting this out, because it's going to be having a zip at the back because it's a fitted crop top. So for the back, I'm just going ahead to fold my organza again. I'm just going to go ahead to mark one inch, which will serve as my zip allowance. As you can see, I'm just marking one inch. I'm just going to mark it all the way down like so so after marking the zip allowance the one inch i'm just going to go ahead to place my front piece on that one inch line i marked i don't know if you're trying, exactly that one inch mark i line I, I marked earlier i'm just going to go ahead to place my front piece on top then pin it down so now that i'm done pinning it down i'm just going to go ahead to cut out my back pattern so now i'm done cutting out the back so because there will be a zip there i'm just going to slash the back pattern open like so i'm just going to take my scissors in to cut it out into two so now that we have our back piece done and the front piece done i'm just going to go ahead to cut out the sleeve so the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be taking around my arm hole measurements so around my arm hole measurements is nine inches so basically for the front and back that makes it 18 inches so that's what we'll be using so i'm going to fold my um organza into four i say we want to cut a 360 because i'll be using a 360 sleeve for the fullness so i went ahead to fold my organza into four piece then i divided it in by 6.2 it will give us three point something plus so i just approximated it to 40 then mark it marked it all through then connected it so because I'll be needing 15 inches, so I'm just going to go ahead to mark 19 because 15 plus 4, that's 19. So basically, I'm going to be adding, marking 19 inches all through because by the time you remove that 4 you marked earlier, you'll be having 15 lengths, which is basically the length of the sleeve. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So basically, I'm just marking 19 inches all through for the sleeve, like so, 19 inches. I repeat 19 inches because 15 inch for the length of the sleeve and you know I'm going to cut out that four I initially marked so I'm just connecting the lines like so then I'm just going to go ahead to cut it out so after cutting out the sleeve I basically placed this sleeve on the uh, of on another organza I folded into four to cut out the second sleeve and what we have our crop organza top as you can see um, it is full and yeah basically that's just it so i just i just aimed the lower part put my zip and also completed the neckline please if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe like comment and share and if there's a video you want me to put out there you can always comment down below and you have it thank you bye